Alright, hey guys, here's the second part of our tutorial. I'm going to show you how to use Array and the Mirror Modifier. So, uh, if you followed with my first part, you should get something roughly like this. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, so now I just want to hit 7, and I just want to get out of ortho, ortho view. I just want to position this with G and X. Just a little bit. Make it better. Just like that. Alright, so now with that selected, let's go over here to our modifier tab. Add modifier, and let's do array first. So over here under the array modifier, put zero on the first one and one on the second one. That way it aligns them along the y axis, the x, y, z. Alright, so now we I want to do three four count. Alright. That should be sufficiently long. And now that I have that done, I want to add another modifier, but this time a mirror modifier. Let's see, and let's deselect X and select Z. Alright, let's see. Hmm. Select X and deselect Z. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay, so now let's tab the A to select all. And just grab that along the x axis. That way you can just pull them apart. So now I want to hit 7 so I can make sure I merge this properly. I'm just going to grab that along the x. Alright, let's see. Just like that. And there we have our hallway. It's a little narrow, but you, you can adjust that just elongating this right here, but I'm just going to leave it like that. Or I'll change it. Uh, Alright. We just right click, right click, shift right click, shift right click, and shift right click. And let's grab that along the X. Let's see what that looks like. And let's A to select all, grab along the X, and pull them apart a little more. Yeah. So now that we have that done, this is going to be our hallway. But let's, well, let's move the camera. Control Alt to zero. Now just move the camera right here. So let's just tab out of that. Grab the camera. And hit zero. And there's no position the camera to wherever I think it's going to be good. All right. So let's hit zero and let's just grab that. Alright, let me try that. So now let's render that, and it's pitch black because we don't have a light source in there. So now that's what we want to do. We want to add a light source by clicking Add Lamp uh, Spot. Oh, where's that? Okay. So just grab that along the X, grab that along the Y, and grab that along the Z. And let's just position it so what to wherever we think it should go. Or wherever you want it. Right, let's see. Let me hit Z so we can view this a little bit better. Seven. There we go. Alright. So let's hit G Y and G X. Alright, now let's hit one, one, five, ortho. Okay, and now let's position position this on GZ and GY. Just like that. Alright, so now let's exit out of this and show us something like that. I just want to rotate it around, see if that would give me a better result. Oh, oh let's check that out. Let's, let's render that. Alright, let's get some more. Well, we're going to put this in every single uh, light that's right there. So let's just hit Shift D for duplicate and Y so we can move it along the Y axis. Just move it along the hall. Shift D, Y. 
Uh, if you know an easier way to do this, um, please comment below. Alright, I'd be keen to know. Alright, and let's just do that again. Shift D, but this time on the X, so you can move it across the hall. And now Shift D, oops, on the Y. Shift D on the Y again. Shift D on the Y. One more time. Alright, so now let's check that out. Let's run to that. No, it looks okay. Um, now you can see here the outline of where the carpet would be. So I think that's a good addition. So like that could be carpet and you can texture paint it or whatever with whatever you want. But we still need another light source. So let's well let's position the camera a little better. And since the camera can't see the ceiling, we can put some light sources in the ceiling, right? Or below the camera too. So now let's just A to deselect and let's add mm, let's see a hemi what that would do. Let's just grab that. And let's just rotate that. Uh, what's going on here? Right, rotate a little bit more. There we go. Let's render that. That's better. We can lower the intensity though. Let's give it a 5 for energy. Not a 5.5. .5. Yeah. And let's re-render by pressing F12. And there you have it. A hotel hallway. Uh, you can just use a ray and mirror modifier to adjust with whatever you think would be nice. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or tips, please comment below.